My name is Jim Finn, and my film is The Chuche Idea. The film is a um, sort of a recreation of a North Korean art residency. Chuche is the philosophy of Kim Il sung, who is the father of Kim Jong il, the present dictator leader of North Korea. And Kim Jong il consolidated his own power in the 60s and 70s by promoting Chuche in film, specifically, which is kind of a cult of personality of his father mixed with these Stalinistic uh, and Confucian ideas. And uh, I started doing research into the film and found out that not only uh, are all the films made in North Korea based on this Chuche philosophy, uh, but uh, the, he wrote this kind of manifesto called On the Art of the Cinema, Kim Jong-il did. And so I wanted to read that, look at the movies, and see if I could sort of recreate or update, in a sense, some of my own, some of, uh, update the North Korean film model to the 21st century. It, I wouldn't really call it a mockumentary. It, it does have the look of a, of a documentary at times. The idea, what, the idea is basically what I want to do is recreate um, conversations and interviews with the main character who's a South Korean video artist that's been invited to North Korea to make work. But we also see clips of some of the propaganda films she makes plus the video art. They're, but they're all these Juche films. And as you watch the film, you see some of some clips of films that she's been in and films that she's re-edited and interviews with her. And, and by the end, you start to get this idea of this whole narrative of the film, what's happening. And Maybe we don't really find out whatever happens with her or, or whether she actually leaves the country. Uh, we just sort of have the tapes of what's left in a sense. And I found out about North Korea. I mean, I knew something about it, but when I found out that there was all this film theory and it was a sort of socialist realist, but a little bit, a little bit different uh, film theory. And then I started watching the films and I really wanted to... Uh, I mean, basically, what I want to do is be invited in, to North Korea myself to be in an art residency there and be able to remake the stuff. Um, they're not going to do that for you know because who knows who I am for one and for another they you know for a number of reasons they weren't going to do that. So I had to create my own art residency uh, and 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 just go from there and see what would have happened. Uh, trying to make a film that looked like North Korea in the United States uh, was actually a challenge. Uh, so I did some tricks uh, with art direction. Uh, I had some awesome actors from Korea who helped out a lot. And um, we shot it in HDV. And I did this strange thing where I took, uh, I shot pink 16 millimeter film leader off the wall and then actually, uh, this is a lot of detail, but I sort of laid that over and lowered the opacity to sort of give it a slightly uh, grainy look because it was HDV and it was like kind of too pretty actually. So I had to make it, I had to kind of dumb it down a little bit. So I don't know, I guess that was the main challenge and I uh, hope it worked pretty well. People seem to be a little bit confused as to what's real and what's not in the film, so that's great. I think my advice is to make the film that you want to make and don't worry about copyright and don't worry about making money and um, uh, also I would surround yourself with other people that are making films in different ways and not just filmmakers because filmmakers can be quite annoying but different kinds of artists and different kinds of people that are doing creative things and collaborate and help them and uh, then when, when, when you want to work on a project um, and you have, like, you know, you can take the own control you have of your own project, but then you can uh, sort of cede a certain amount of control to people who know things better, like whatever it is, the art direction or the music or, you know, whatever that you don't do well. When you kind of have a community of people that you're helping out, then people help you out. And uh, it's like, you know, accumulating this creativity of humans. So that's my advice.